Obama administration has been spending a lot of time dealing with the foreclosure crisis. Now the White House wants to know if any crimes have been committed. Joining us from the White House is Sean Donovan, the Secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development, who just got out of a meeting with the President's task force looking into this. Mr. Secretary, welcome to Bloomberg News. Thank you so much for joining us today. Great to be with you. Mr. Secretary, do you think that there are systemic issues in some of the legal documents that are at the heart of this controversy? Well, first of all, let me uh, just give you a sense of what we're looking at and then come back to that specific question. Today, we met as part of an ongoing process with 11 different uh, federal agencies and entities. Uh, to, we're looking at a broad set of issues here. You mentioned the criminal, uh, but we're looking at, at a range of, uh, of issues. And specifically to go to your point about whether this is systemic in terms of the legal underlying documents, that's one of the pieces that we're looking at. And our reviews are ongoing. To date, we have found no evidence of underlying systemic problems with, uh, with uh, underlying legal documents. What I would say, though, is that's a different issue from whether processes are being followed correctly. Right. And we do have significant concerns that particular institutions uh, have not followed requirements. Uh, under FHA, our, uh, lenders are required, servicers are required to help uh, take steps to keep people in their homes. Correct. And based on our reviews thus far, we have found uh, concerns that uh, services are not yeah. following FHA requirements Mr. On, on doing that. Mr. Secretary, the states and not the federal government, as you know, set foreclosure law. How difficult is it going to be then to prosecute those who may have committed crimes? Well, I, I'm, I don't want to speak to the criminal aspects of this. Uh, that is not under, under my jurisdiction. We're coordinating with the state uh, attorneys general. But that's only a small part of what we're looking at. There are questions, criminal questions, uh, about behavior and, and willful fraud. But uh, the broader issue here that we're looking at is, first of all, were uh, homeowners uh, foreclosed on by errors or mistakes by banks? Uh, and second of all, and I think this is critical, that more broadly, are they taking the steps that they need to take uh, to keep homeowners in their homes? And so with the range of agencies that we're, uh, uh, we're working with, we are looking at that, those broad set of questions. And I think it's in everyone's interest here. Right. Uh, it's in homeowners' interest, it's in uh, the housing market's interest and markets more broadly to get yeah. to these issues as quickly yeah. as possible. And we will hold those accountable who aren't and complying with laws or our regulations. Yeah, and Mr. Secretary, but you touched upon a point about trying to keep people in their homes. How much sense does it make economically then to keep individuals in their homes if they can no longer afford to stay there? Well. Uh, what we want to make sure of is that all of the options that we make available through FHA or through other efforts uh, to keep people in their homes, where they have the ability to pay, where they have a chance of, of long-term sustainable home ownership, that we're doing that. That's what we're looking at. And what we find is that when we do that, not only do we help homeowners stay in their homes, right. we actually reduce losses to the federal government, to the taxpayer, uh, through FHA. So it's, it's good yeah. for the homeowners. It's also good for uh, the fund as well and for taxpayers. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Secretary, do you have any concerns with MERS, and that is the mortgage electronic uh, registration system. It's used to track the ownership of uh, those of home loans. It has withstood court challenges, but as you know, it's electronic. There's no paper trail, and is there a conflict of interest with banks who might own the system? Again, there are two different sets of issue here. One is whether the MERS system uh, in itself, the underlying system, uh, is uh, legally sufficient and, and correct, and then whether the processes are being followed correctly to ensure that on individual uh, loans with individual servicers uh, to make sure that those processes are done correctly. Right. Um, that review is ongoing, and so we don't have any inclusive uh, results at this point, but to date we found no evidence of underlying structural legal problems with right. the MERS process. What we are reviewing is whether, uh, in addition, is whether particular yeah. services followed that process, and that's and, critical. And Mr. Secretary, in our last 30 seconds, how do you assuage the fears of Americans who have some problems with this whole uh, foreclosure process, and do their concerns threaten to undermine any nascent recovery in the housing market? Well, uh, 
Americans should have confidence that the federal government is moving comprehensively and quickly to uh, ensure that services are complying with the law and that they are taking the actions they're required to take and they should take to keep people in their in their homes. That is exactly what this meeting was about today. It's this broader process that we've undertaken right. uh, to coordinate with agencies. We're going to ensure that we get to the bottom of these problems as quickly as possible, and we will hold uh, institutions accountable that aren't okay. compliant. All right. The Secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development, Sean Donovan, joining us from the White House. Mr. Secretary, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.